Hey, what's up guys? Raymond here. Today I want to talk to you about some of the differences between a Roth IRA and a brokerage account. So unfortunately, a lot of people, they think that once they max out their contributions to their retirement accounts, whether it's a Roth IRA, traditional 401k, etc., they think that that's completely it, that they can't use any more of their money to invest. But I want to go ahead and let you know that that is not the case because we have something called a brokerage account. Before we get started, if you're new here, I encourage you to hit that like button and consider subscribing to my channel to see more videos like this one on finance and investing. So let's get started. First, let's talk about what a Roth IRA account is. A Roth IRA is a retirement account which allows you to contribute up to $6,000 per year of post-tax money that you can use to buy investments. After age 59 and a half, which is around the time that some people retire, you can withdraw that money completely tax-free. And that includes all of the profit that you've made from investing. If you take all of that into consideration, that means that you can have potentially decades of gains and profit from compound interest that you can withdraw at age 59 and a half completely tax-free without paying a single dime. Secondly, you can withdraw any contribution that you've made to the Roth IRA at any time. So for example, if you deposited $6,000, which is the max this year and next year, that $6,000 grows to 7,000. If for whatever reason you need to withdraw your contribution, which would be the $6,000, you can do that without any penalties. However, that remaining $1,000 needs to stay in the account or it will be subject to penalties and taxes. So this allows you that flexibility of being able to take out your contribution in the event that something unforeseen happens. You won't be stuck with that money tied up in investments. All right, so we've talked about some of the positive aspects of opening a Roth IRA account, but I wanna go ahead and talk about a couple of the negative sides of having a Roth IRA that way you can make an informed decision that works for you. So number one, I alluded to this one earlier, and if you withdraw any of the profit that you made from your Roth IRA, that profit will immediately be subject to a 10% penalty, as well as any income taxes that are due on those gains. Another downside of using the Roth IRA is that unfortunately it is capped at 6,000 per year max contribution. So if you're someone that's making six figures, that might seem very low as far as investing goes. So you're very limited on how much money you can actually put in. So even though you can withdraw that money tax-free at age 59 and a half, your contribution limit is so limited that it might not be as much money as you can potentially get with a brokerage account. So we've talked about the Roth IRA and the pros and cons of having one. So let's dive into what a brokerage account is. A brokerage account is used to invest in assets outside of your traditional retirement accounts like 401ks and Roth IRAs. You can use a brokerage account to buy things like stocks, bonds, ETFs, index funds, etc. And the good thing about it is that you do not have to wait until 59 and a half age 59 and a half to withdraw that money. One of the major differences as well is that there is no max contribution for a brokerage account. So if you have a lump sum of cash sitting around somewhere, boom, you can put that into the account right away without having to worry about any yearly contribution limits. Another huge difference between the two comes in the form of taxes. With a Roth, you're contributing money that you've already paid taxes on. So your money is allowed to grow tax free. With a brokerage account, however, any money that you make on your gains is subject to an income tax or a capital gain tax. So with a brokerage account, whether you buy something today and sell it in six months, or you buy something today and sell it in six years, you still have to pay taxes on the gains. So there are two types of taxes you need to be aware of when you're investing. One is income tax and two is capital gains tax. You're subject to income tax if you buy and sell an asset within one year of each other. So for example, if I bought something six months ago and I sold it today and I fall under a 30% tax bracket, I will have to pay, let's say if it's $100, I'd pay $30 on that $100 gain. Number two is the capital gains tax for 
anything bought and sold over a year. So if I bought something today and I sold it in five years, I'd be subject to a capital gains tax. The capital gains tax is between zero and 20%. So for example, let's say I made $100 in profit in those five years and I fall under a 15% capital gains tax bracket then I'd pay $15 out of that $100 in taxes. So I linked the tax breakdown in the description below. So go ahead and take a look at that to get a better idea of how everything works. So as you can see, you can save a good amount of money in taxes if you just hold on to your investments longer than a year. One thing you wanna be very careful with when you're using a brokerage account is that you wanna stay away from having a short-term mentality. Since there's so much flexibility compared to retirement accounts with a brokerage account, you can kind of fall into this trap of, well, I want to buy this. I want to sell this right now. I want to do this. I want to do that. Then you, you run the risk of trying to time the market. And usually that never ends well. It just ends with a big fat loss on your account. So remember that when we're investing, it's really a long-term gain. So 20 years, 30 years, some people 40, 50 years. You know, you want to think for the long term, not how much money can I make within the next six months? It's not the way it works. So be very, very careful when you're using a brokerage account. Don't let the freedom send you down the wrong path. So as you can see, there are benefits to both a Roth IRA and a brokerage account. So in my opinion, if you can max out your contribution to your Roth IRA every single year, and then use any leftover money that you might have in put that into your brokerage account. That way your money is working for you as well, right? Because the Roth IRA has such a low contribution limit of 6,000. Use your other savings to work for you. That way you're not hoarding that money in some low interest rate savings account somewhere doing nothing. At least if you put it into the market, your money is going to grow and your money will be working for you. And in the long term, once you're ready to you know, buy a house or whatever it might be, you have at least some sort of gains to show for it. Wait, 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 before you go, if you haven't already liked the video, go ahead and smash that like button down below and consider subscribing to the channel. I come out with videos multiple times a week on finance and investing. So I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.